What's going on guys? I want to welcome you to my channel. My name is Cody and my videos are all about helping people become better Madden players. So if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Now in this video, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a new series that I want to talk about. This is really, um, it's a conceptual series. This is designed to help you get ready for Madden 20. Uh, two as far as passing concepts and things like that But what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a look at this trips tight end And the reason why is because I think the trips tight end next year is going to be very simply put the best offense in the game And if you've not already gotten my trips tight end offensive guide I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video and you can get it But the, the big thing that I want to hit on in these uh, next couple of videos is I want to teach how you can run different spread air raid concepts from the trips tight end. The reason I want to do that is because I want to show that you can actually merge kind of the two formations to create a really, really cool little offense. So um, that's what we're going to do over the course of these next couple of videos. And we're going to start um, with probably the best concept from the uh, air raid, in my opinion, and that is the shallow cross uh, concept. And we're going to do that out of the play curl flat from the trips tight end. And we're gonna do this a little bit different. And if you think about it like this, a traditional shallow cross concept, I'm just gonna show you the play art on the field. Um, a traditional shallow cross concept would look something essentially like this right here. You would basically see this kind of concept right here. This is what it would look like. This is the shallow cross. Essentially the, the Y receiver or the uh, tight end in this example is going to be running a shallow cross, basically a drag route. And then this backside slot receiver is going to run a 10-yard dig route over the middle. You've got this <clears throat> solo receiver that is basically going to be clearing out as much space as possible for this drag to come underneath it. And then you've got this post route. Also, you could run this essentially like this if you'd like as well. This is another concept that you can use where you do double streaks, okay? So that's kind of the, the gist of the concept. Now, I want to show you how to do the same basic concept or the basic principle from the trips tight end. And the way that you can do this really simply um, is to take the circle receiver and basically smart route him on his post. So it's going to turn into essentially kind of a slant go type of uh, passing play. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, tight end on this play. And we're going to put him on a streak route, vertical stretching the defense vertically. Um, so we're going to have a little bit better of a vertical stretch. And then we're going to take the running back on this play, and we're going to put him on a ghost route. If you don't want to do that, you can put him on an option route as well. Or if you, those are the two that I would recommend. And I personally like the ghost route the most, but if you can't get a ghost route, you can always do an option route. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave this square receiver on his curl um, for spacing purposes specifically, because he's still going to pull the cloud flats. He's still going to pull the deep zones. But this is going to allow us to have a nice little check down concept on the back side of this play. And so we're going to take triangle and we're going to put him on a drag and motion him across. And as you can see here, we've now basically created the same exact concept. And what's really cool is this curl route is going to pull the zones out of the way. And you're going to be able to dump it down to the back or dump it down to that drag route for just a couple of yards. Now, um, I want to kind of share what's going to happen is... Uh, or kind of different situations as, as they're going to rise up. So like if they send you, they send a, a heavy pressure little blitz on you, then you could just check to your back right there really quickly on that ghost route for an easy, um, easy couple of yards. Another thing that you're going to be able to do out of this is again, if they send the pressure, chances are their defense is going to basically look something like this. And they might even take this guy and do something like this. To, this is kind of the, the standard meta way to defend this formation right now. And so what this is going to create is you're going to create for yourself opportunities. Typically, they're going to climb the vertical with the tight end almost every single time. And so this is going to allow you to take this little underneath read right here to Antonio Brown right over the middle on that shallow cross. The other thing that you've got going for you is, again, like I said, they are going to tend, they are going to have a tendency to send some pressure at you if you're trying to run the air raid. And one of the cool parts about this trips tight end is we have an instant man or zone tell. As you saw right there, I audibled into man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to send some man-to-man -man pressure. And this allows you, as an offensive player, to kind of have a little bit of a leg up on the competition. And if you see something like this, this is your cue that it's man-to-man -man coverage. And you can go ahead and put your running back on a table route or a wheel route. And what's going to happen is if they're sending pressure, you're going to be able to easily throw the ball to the back, 
for about 15 to 20 yards. So the shallow crossing type of concept really can apply um, to this offense in a lot of different ways. Uh, I'm going to show you another one. And this is more of a traditional Mabel concept. As you can see, I've got Mabel coverage across the board. And then I'm going to take my user and just put him in a yellow zone. What this is going to allow, and again, the spread offense, the air raid offense, one of the things that is very important that you focus on is stretching the defense sideline to sideline. And so this drag route is going to run itself basically wide open or in the middle. And as you can see, we're able to take it for, again, another 5 to 10 yards. One last thing I want to show you um, as far as this concept goes. Well, I got a couple other things. But um, the next thing I want to show you on this is, you know, let's say they're playing something like that where they're trying to take away the drag um, because they got three underneath zones basically to take that away. This is where this route to the X or the circle receiver is going to be really good for you. You have time in the pocket to wait for this to open up. And what you're going to see is this ghost route is going to hold the cloud flat and you can throw this post all the way across the formation. Now, if you were just to put a standard 10 yard dig, then a 10 yard curl flat could both take away the curl route and it could also take away the post route. If you wanna put that guy on a crosser or a standard post route, you certainly can. I just like the way the curl flat post route gets over almost every zone in the game. So again, we're gonna go back to our concept here and I wanna share with you another way that you can run this. If you wanna put the tight end on a drag, um, you certainly can. This is another way to run the same basic thing, but this is going to let you stretch the seam a little bit more with the triangle receivers. You see right there, he's going to be a little bit more of a vertical threat. And as you can see, we now have a little bit more space on that sideline to be able to throw the crossing route or the post route uh, to the circle receiver. The other thing that I want to kind of emphasize here is what if your opponent is, you know, you know, what happens if the play kind of breaks down a little bit, they have really good user, and they go with the circle receiver, then you're going to have this nice little high-low read on the left. You see he's going to pull um, that zone, but see how the curl suffocates all of those zone coverages? That's a little bit of a unique thing that only can happen with a curl route this year, in my opinion. But basically what you're going to see is as we run this, I've got 10-yard vertical hooks, and I've got 10-yard uh, purple zones. And so what that's going to do is it's gonna defend the curl route about as good as you possibly can. The problem is this underneath. So as you wait on this a little bit, you see they suffocate to the curl, and then I can just take this for an easy five to 10 yards. This is also really good because again, this is gonna force them to have to go use the circle receiver. So this is a nice little check down you can do. And one little last little final tip with this drag is I would encourage you to kind of um, tinker around with the motion snap. Um, the deeper that you let him get to the sideline, sometimes the better if they're dropping a lot of people back in coverage. So if I get him all the way out here, then now you're going to see that they're really going to fall off of him and I can throw in that window for an easy three to five yards. The cool part about this is, again, this is a max coverage defense we're talking about. So if they don't, if they don't have max coverage on the field, um, maybe they do something like that. You know, then this is going to cause a little bit of a problem because now we, we, we have great spacing from this concept. Great spacing from this concept. So again, you get him all the way out here. See how he stretches this zone. You've got that seam read to the tight end if they go to the post route first. So you've got so many concept or so many routes that you can hit. And really the perfect play, in my opinion, for pretty much any defense. Again, if they run something like a man coverage concept on you, that's where you would put that running back on a table route. And what you're going to see here is that this running back table route will typically do a pretty good job against man coverage. And then the last thing that I want to go over as far as man coverage is both receiver, pretty much everything except for the tight end route is going to beat me in the man coverage on this play. So you're going to see we're going to get this nice motion snap. So yeah, he's got inside leverage against the corner really easy. And you're going to take that for about 10 to 15 yards. The other thing is that the post route, we all know how good this post route has been this year for a lot of people. This is one of the best post routes in Madden 21. And, um, you know, this is no different in this example. So what you're going to see here is that when it cuts to the inside, you're going to be able to easily throw that to the sideline just like that. And this is really the beauty of this offense is that the spacing cannot, you know, especially with next year and the way next year's user um, is going to have to play. I think that next year you're going to notice that their user can only take away maybe maybe two routes, more than likely only one route on the play. So things like this curl route when it cuts the inside is going to be super, super simple, but super effective. So anyways, guys, that is how you can run the air raid shallow crossing concept 
out of the trips tied in in Madden 21. And you can also use this tactic in Madden 22. If you want to learn my full New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. I highly think that this is going to be the best offense in Madden 22.